Alright class, before I head out, I want to mention something important. Today is the birthday of Imam Sadiq, our sixth Imam, and our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hey Zain, did you catch that? It's Imam Sadiq's birthday today. Yeah, I heard. But honestly, I don't know much about him. Really? He's incredible. His stories are full of wisdom. Like what? Tell me one. Sure. Have you ever hesitated to ask a question because you're afraid it might sound dumb? All of the time. I feel like that a lot, especially in class. Well, once, when Imam Sadiq was in the middle of his lecture, he noticed his guy staying quiet. He could tell that the guy wanted to ask something, but was too embarrassed to ask. The Imam went up to him and told him, Don't be embarrassed to ask something you don't know. How else are we supposed to learn? That's actually encouraging. Right? He made people feel comfortable about being curious. No question was too small or too silly. Maybe I should start raising my hand more often. Absolutely. The only bad questions are the ones you don't ask. Easier said than done, but I'll give it a shot. Any other stories? I'm really interested now. Yeah. One day, a disbeliever came to Imam Sadiq to talk about Allah. The son of Imam Sadiq had an egg in his hand and was playing with it. An egg? Interesting. Imam Sadiq took the egg from his son and said to the man, This egg is like a closed room. It has a hard shell and under that shell is a softer one. Inside that, there's a yolk and the white, which never mix. No one touches it, yet from it hatches a colorful chick. Who brings this beautiful chick into existence inside the egg? Wow. Exactly. The disbeliever was left speechless. He understood that God exists and became a Muslim. Using something so simple to explain something so profound. Genius. That's Imam Sadiq for you. He could turn everyday moments into life lessons. Class, please remember to submit your argumentative essays by tomorrow. What did Imam Sadiq say about balancing life? Like handling school, work and personal time. Funny you ask. There's a story where Imam Sadiq saw a guy who spent all his time praying. He wasn't working or doing anything else. Sounds pious. Imam Sadiq asked him, Who takes care of you? The guy replied, My brother supports me. The Imam told him, Your brother is better than you. Wait, wait, what? Why? Because while praying is important, so is taking care of your responsibilities. Imam Sadiq believed in balance. Prayer, work, school, it all matters. If you do only one thing and ignore the rest, you're not living up to your potential. That makes sense. It's like you can't just ignore your homework because you want to play basketball all day, right? Exactly. Life's all about balancing everything. Got another story of Imam Sadiq? Oh, this one's good. So there was this guy who doubted Imam Sadiq's generosity. He thought it was all just talk. Seriously? What did he do? He decided to test the Imam. He disguised himself as a beggar and showed up at our Imam's door. No one would have recognized him. Bold move. What happened next? Without even a second of hesitation, Imam Sadi gave him everything he had on him. Right there and then, no questions asked. Just like that? Yup. The guy was absolutely stunned. He dropped the act, revealed who he was, and started apologizing immediately. I bet. What did Imam Sadiq say? He just smiled and said, True generosity doesn't wait to question or doubt. It just acts when there's a need. Wow. So it's not about giving. It's about giving without a second thought. Exactly. He showed that real generosity is in the instinct to help, not the amount you give. Another powerful story is about forgiveness. This guy came to Imam Sadiq one day, really upset. He admitted he had stolen some money. He was desperate and thought he would solve all of his problems. What did Imam Sadiq say? The Imam didn't get mad. He simply asked the guy why he did it. And after the guy explained, the Imam said, When you disobey Allah, you think you're going to gain something, but you only lose more. Then he told the guy to return what he had stolen and repent sincerely. So he didn't punish him? Nope. 
The Imam wasn't about punishing people if they were genuinely sorry. He wanted them to learn and change for the better. That's cool. It's like no matter how badly you mess up, there's always a way back. Any last joy before we head out? Yes, one of my favorite. A companion once came to Imam Sadiq with a pretty curious question. He asked, Oh Imam, does God pay attention to the smallest creatures like ants? Or are they too insignificant in the grand scheme of things? Ants? Really? What did Imam Sadiq say? Imam Sadiq just smiled and pointed to an ant crawling by, carrying a little piece of food. He said, look at this ant. It knows its purpose and God is aware of its needs. Even this tiny creature is part of God's creation. And he has given it the instinct and guidance on how to survive and do its part. So even something as small as an ant matters? Exactly. Imam Salik said, If God didn't care for this ant, it wouldn't have the means to live, to find food, or to play its role in the ecosystem. Allah's mercy and wisdom extends to every part of creation, from the vast heavens down to the smallest of creatures. That's incredible. We worry about big stuff, but even the tiniest things matter. That's what Imam Sadiq wanted us to realize. Allah is always watching over everything, even if we don't know it. I have to say, man, today was enlightening. Glad to hear it. I enjoy sharing these stories. Imam Sadiq's wisdom really applies today. Makes me want to learn more. Agreed. So, same time tomorrow? Definitely. See you then. See you.